Hello, everyone. OK, sorry about the little technical difficulties there. Um, so we're part of the Green Wall project. Um, our design is called Bringing Hamilton Together. I'm Juliana. I'm Katie. I'm Nicole. And Rebecca. And Shannon's over there. Um, so just to start, give you kind of um, a basis of where we were coming from with this idea. Um, we believe that Hamilton is a great city and that its positivity really comes from its culture. And the people who work so hard in Hamilton to um, develop culture and bring everyone together through it. Um, through our design, we hope to share positive elements of culture within Hamilton and we believe that this will help to bridge gaps within the community, um, bring tourism, uh, citizens, and help them to find out ways they can get involved in the rich culture of our city. Um, we already feel like the vertical garden in itself is such a cool idea and such a, um, a positive thing in Hamilton, and it's going to bring people there to begin with. So we thought, why not take this opportunity to not only show this vertical garden, but also have all this information that people can access while they're there. So um, we plan to use um, digital information which I will pass on to Rebecca to explain it further. All right, so everyone's going to be talking about the specific um, categories that we've broken it up into, but basically um, we're going to be using QR codes um, to display information. So when people um, arrive at the um, wall, they would be able to um, get a wealth of information. So a QR code is a type of barcode used as a machine-readable optical label that contains information about the item to which it is attached. Um, most cell phones have apps that will allow you to translate the QR code. So the idea would be that we would have a website that would have links to different um, websites so when someone goes to the wall, they'd be able to learn more about the cultural aspects of the city. Um, the thing about QR codes is that there's a 30% error correction. So um, you'd be able to, <laughs> here, I'm going to pass it on to someone else. All right, so basically the thought is, is information is really easy to share with technology and QR codes are the simplest way we can think to share a wealth of information in a simple way. So anyone can come up to the Virgo Garden, see the QR code, be like, oh, I wonder what that is. Scan it with their smartphone and get all the information that we've sort of um, gathered. So there was a project done recently called Love Your City in Hamilton and they, um, came across a lot of the same clues that we have. Basically that culture is a huge part of why Hamilton is great and a lot of people in Hamilton really value um, the culture of our city. So using these codes, we've, we've come up with ideas that could be shared through them. Um, and we really used a lot of the ideas that came from the Love City Project just so we all know that we didn't just decide on random stuff and, think it was good. Um, a lot of other people have worked really hard on this uh, cultural development in Hamilton as well. Okay, so um, another option besides the QR codes, it would be to use um, iPads or digital picture frames. That way, if you don't have a smartphone or you can't access the internet, you can still get information. So um, we could use something like this, like the, the kiosk or um, something similar. Uh, that way people could use it interactively, they could get the same information, but could kind of fiddle and play and learn things uh, that way as well. So the lovely Rebecca has made this design. So this is actually a picture of the alleyway and sort of the idea of what we had. So there would be this vertical garden, uh, but embedded within it would be uh, these QR codes um, that people could get information about culture and health. So um, we wanted to include different things onto our wall that um, basically um, enforce Hamilton. So um, our 
whole group decided to focus on bringing Hamilton together, and we really wanted to um, include community-based organizations in order to do that, just because it starts with the community to bring Hamilton together, and so we thought that by putting it onto the wall, like the different organizations that Hamilton has, that it would um, essentially bring people out to uh, hopefully join these groups and to make them more aware to help rebuild Hamilton stigmas. Um, another thing we wanted to put on the wall was music. Hamilton has a lot of music opportunities to offer, and not a lot of people know this. So um, we just wanted to include that. There's a lot of places you can go, like the Casbah and other pubs where you can showcase your music and your talent. So for up and coming bands or singers or whatever, you can go there to showcase your talent, be recognized. And it's a great atmosphere. People can go and join and listen in to what, what's going on and um, just have a good time. We want to enforce having a good time in Hamilton. And one of, like for example, the Arkells, they started here in Hamilton. Um, not a lot of people know that, but it's just a good thing to know because it is possible to go further in the world and you can just have fun in Hamilton and enjoy music and go to these places. <laughs> Okay, so um, another cultural element that we decided to focus on within our wall was art. Um, Hamilton has um, a beautiful art gallery that has just recently been updated in the last 10 years. Um, great to go, um, really good stuff there. Um, we also have the art crawl, which happens every month, and the super crawl, which I believe is once a year. Um, tons of local art galleries um, coming up on James North. Tons of opportunity for artists in Hamilton, and showcasing this can only lead to positive things as far as we're concerned. Okay, so another positive about Hamilton is the many um, delicious cuisines. So Hamilton has a lot of uh, restaurants to offer and we thought we could include um, these restaurants and have them featured on our kiosks. So um, people just passing by, could, if they're interested, just look at the kiosk, scan the code, and um, can go to those restaurants. Now another thing that was mentioned to us um, when we presented this before was, you know, cost. And a lot, like that's a beautiful thing about Hamilton, there's so many restaurants to choose from and range from price, you know, there's different price ranges, so we thought we'd do that. The bee bar is really delicious. <laughs> so um, there's also, continuing on with the theme of food, uh, there's tons of farmers markets in Hamilton. Um, the one in Jackson Square, which is mentioned, is giant and wonderful. Um, Hamilton Farmers Markets are great because it supports local businesses, it supports um, local and <laughs> adjoining farming. It's really hard to talk about, so let's take a picture of you. Um, <laughs> like, nice. um, sorry. Uh, <laughs> um, so basically, yeah, we felt that advertising and uh, showcasing farmers markets in Hamilton is a good way to uh, let people know where they are, bring different parts of the community together within these markets. Okay, so um, along with including different elements of the community, what we really want is we don't want anyone to feel like they can come to, that they come to this wall and nothing appeals to them. They like, I don't care about any of this. And we try to include as much as possible um, different elements. So even uh, getting youth involved is important, and we all know this. So that was another element of community that we wanted to showcase. Um, Okay, so again, another positive about Hamilton is the waterfalls. Hamilton is known for, like, it's the city of waterfalls, I guess. And um, so here we have just an example of the border falls in Hamilton. And so we would have, um, I guess, the waterfalls featured on the kiosk as well, just as an act of attraction, so that people could, because not a lot of people know that um, there are water, like a lot of waterfalls in Hamilton. If they ever wanted to take a day and make a day out of it, then they could go, so. Okay, so cost. Obviously when you're using technology, like sometimes it can get upward and more expensive, and we're aware of this. Uh, what we're hoping is that we can find a way to either like, fundraise or find out if there are businesses that are willing to um, support uh, projects such as ours that are willing to like showcase culture in Hamilton. Um, 
We also think that there are probably ways that we can cut corners in um, other areas so that we can really fund and really do uh, what we want with the technology aspect of it. Um, there is opportunity with it being, um, well, well, we're hoping that it's going to be a populated area, lots of people around, we can sell um, ad space within our QR codes and have people, local businesses, advertising their company or their business through the QR codes and that's a way for the wall itself to actually generate revenue, revenue, and then uh, help fund the wall itself. All right, so just to finish off, we really feel like Hamilton is a great place to be and we want other people to realize that. Um, I personally am from Hamilton. I've lived in all different areas and I know that there's um, stereotypes and stigmas about um, downtown especially and if we could find a way to kind of break those stereotypes and get people going to these different areas and being involved in the downtown community as well as other parts, um, we think that it could help really see positive development in our city. So that's our presentation. Thank you so much. Hey, a uh, quick question. to just replace it with something that does work or has more up-to-date information. So I mean, yes, of course, with technology, like you never know, sometimes things go wrong. Um, and that's definitely a good point to point out. Um, but yeah, so you, you, we would have to, uh, it would have to be maintained for, for that reason and just so that information, it's not like coming up in the Christmas assembly and it's March, like stuff like that, you want to make sure it was up-to-date to begin with, so. Yeah. So now how would you do that? How would that be done? Um, well, the way I sort of envisioned the codes themselves was like, almost like stickers, like, so that you could just like place them on the wall and then like cover them up. So it wouldn't be like, you don't have to like drill into a brick wall or something like that and take it up and down and move it all around. <laughs> Okay, actually, um, with the codes, um, you can make them permanent because instead of directly, like, like, things change all the time, like, different restaurants will be coming. So to keep it updated, like, we can have one specific code. The idea is that we would make a website. So when you scan the code, it would directly link to that um, company's website or whatever. So we could continually update what information um, people are getting when they scan that code. What she said. <laughs> Listen to her. Any more questions? Okay, thanks so much. <laughs>